As we all know by now, the coronavirus has already been wreaking havoc throughout the world and is now starting to wreak havoc here in the good old U.S. of A. And it feels like so many elements of our regular everyday lives are screeching to a halt. I mean, sports have basically been canceled for the foreseeable future. Concerts, other events, other big ticket items either suspended, postponed, flat out canceled. It's craziness, I know, and surely some think that the world is coming to the end, an end. Some think that this is one big massive overreaction to a virus, but the reality is it's probably not the end of the world. And yeah, people are surely overreacting to some degree, but you can't pretend like this isn't a serious matter. And at the end of the day, wouldn't you rather be a little more cautious um, and prevent it from becoming something? Just a thought. But that leads us to what surely is going to be even a more hot button issue uh, in the next few days. With all of these sporting events, all these other entertainment things being canceled, the WWE just keeps rolling right along. Vince McMahon says, you can take your coronavirus and stick it. He ain't canceling nothing. He might modify plans. He might have shows in front of no audience. He might have shows in different venues and different things. But for now, the show goes on. And if you think about Vince McMahon, would you expect anything less when it comes to the WWE? You might say, well, Christ's sakes, they just canceled the XFL season. Why wouldn't he do that with WWE? Look, you already know how this rodeo goes. If anything, he could cut the losses now with the XFL, blend in with everybody else, and say, we'll come back in 2021. We made it to season two. We're already more successful than when we tried it before. You could spin these things, but WWE at the end of the day, that's his bread and butter. WWE is what he's made his name, his reputation, his fortune on. And we all know the stubbornness of the man, Vincent K. McMahon. And we know you're going to have to drag him away kicking and screaming. Ever cave on something like this. He's the type of guy that would look at Dana White in the face of all logic and reason saying, we're going to go on with UFC anyways because life has to happen. Virus be damned. I got money to make. And Vince looks like, that's my hunky. You know, but, but you're going to get to a point here pretty soon. I'm recording this on March 14th. You know, WrestleMania is still slated for a few weeks away. What is it? Sunday, April 5th down in Tampa. Um, you're getting to a point where a decision is going to have to be made. And, and the question now becomes, should Vince McMahon, should the WWE suspend WrestleMania? And to me, the very simple answer to that question is, at this moment, no. But that can quickly change. Here's my thing. When you look at some of these cancellations and you look at the suspension of sporting events and so forth, you can say, okay, things that are happening in the next week or two, that certainly makes sense. But if you're talking about canceling things weeks down the road, doesn't that feel a bit premature? Like I look at the NCAA making the decision to cancel the men's and women's basketball tournaments. March Madness is not going to be a thing this year. And if anything to me, that felt like a bit of an overreaction. Not the delaying or suspension or postponing of it, but the outright cancellation of the tournaments? Did you really have to do that? It really makes you wonder for an entity and organization such as the NCAA that prides itself on profiting off of the slave labor of their student athletes to take this so seriously where they say they don't even want to entertain it weeks down the road and you see all these other Entities, the NBA postponing their season, the NHL postponing their season, uh, soccer postponing their season, you know, Major League Baseball because of Rob Manfred's poor leadership, of course, taking forever to come to the decision to postpone spring training, cancel spring training, and delay the start of the season. You know, when you're trying to gauge how seriously you should take something, 
When the rich and powerful are worried and nervous and also getting infected by the virus, that's when you have to at least take it seriously. If not, be a little, or if not more, than a little concerned. But that said, that shouldn't mean that three weeks out you already have to make the call. Like it is a constantly evolving and changing situation. And in a week or two, the outlook could be much better than what it is right now. Could be the same, could potentially be worse. So at this particular moment in time, there shouldn't have to be a reason at this very moment for Vince to have to make a definitive stand. Now, it's probably going to get to a point realistically because the old fart is so damn stubborn that somebody, namely Her Hillsborough County, is going to have to make the call for him and say, it's nice that you haven't postponed it. We are suspending it. WrestleMania is not happening in Tampa. Which then probably means he'll try to have it in Saudi Arabia, whatever the hell the case might happen. But, but there's still a few weeks away, and realistically... You're probably looking at the eventual delay of WrestleMania, which sucks and it throws so many things in, uh, you know, into question and has a short-term, very negative impact on that local Tampa economy. Like No good comes from the decision. And I applaud not just making quick, knee-jerk, reflux, reactionary decisions based off of the mob mentality of what everybody else is doing. Oh my God, the sky is falling. But it is something you have to take seriously. It absolutely is, because if you don't take it seriously now, when it's a smaller issue, then it becomes a much bigger issue, and then you're going to look and say, why the hell didn't we take it that seriously to begin with? So he shouldn't have to necessarily make the call now. He should come to his senses very quickly, if the situation does not change, and say, we're not going to have WrestleMania. Because even if you say in a couple of weeks that things are starting to level off or potentially die down a little bit, there's still going to be a risk to the general public, especially if you have 70,000 plus people at Raymond James Stadium. You're looking at it and you're saying, is it really worth having 70 plus thousand fans there where they could be getting each other sick? You're not going to be able to practice social distancing. Your wrestlers are also at risk of potentially getting sick. And what would WrestleMania feel like if you had this big stadium show and you had no fans there? Like, it just doesn't work. But at the moment, Vince doesn't have to make the decision, in my humble opinion. Now, there's a part of me that wonders if he wants to sit there and sadistically book himself against COVID-19 in the main event of WrestleMania! His finishing move, he's going to pull some anthrax out of his tr trunks and throw it. Anyway, it's all stupidness aside. I can sit there and say, leave it to Vince to be slow to react. This is the same guy that, as the country shut down after 9-11, you know, two days later, here comes SmackDown and he's having the damn show. It's the first public assembly of its kind since the tragic events of Tuesday. Remember that? You know, the guy was willing when the country was pissing their pants and shaking and everything else. He was willing to go out there not knowing what the hell was going on back in 2001 and have a show two days later. You think he's going to back down any sooner than he absolutely has to or is potentially forced to? You're insane. Now, if we go another week or so and things have not really changed, if the WWE does not proactively make the call to delay WrestleMania, then shame on them. And for a company that's already having some bad press here in the early parts of 2020 with the stepping down of Berrios and Michelle from the top of their company and the stock price coming down quite a bit, even outside of any other market conditions, you got to look at it and say the last thing this company needs now is some bad press. And by sitting there and going after it and still trying to act like WrestleMania is going to be a thing to the point where you have to have the city or a county weigh in and tell you you're not having the damn event, is going to be a really, really bad look at a time where a company doesn't need another bad look. And while I can sit there and say that Vince doesn't have to make the call, realistically, he should. You do have people sick in the world. You do have people that are dying in the world. There is an element, yes, of life has to continue to go on. Sure. But again, you know, Tom Hanks got the virus. Tom Hanks! Now this 
means war. Now we care. Now we get a crap. They got that serious. We certainly could probably use the positive distraction that would come with a WrestleMania. There's no question about it. But not at the expense of putting the talent at risk and their health at risk, fans and their health at risk. It's just not worth it. Vince should be making the call already to delay, or at least acknowledging it by saying, you know, there's a potential, there's a chance that we might have to suspend it or delay it. We're not going to cancel it, but we've got to postpone it. We've got to do what's best for everybody involved. Unfortunately, I, I doubt that you're going to get that out of Vince. And I could be pleasantly surprised here, and I could record this, upload this, and by Monday or Tuesday, Vince has made the call because of nothing else. Tampa's forcing his damn hand at it. A little, a little bit of calm would be helpful here. But you can also be calmed and measured in your responses and also still make a response. And if he goes much longer and he continues to fight against this, now you got fans that have paid for tickets, that have booked hotel rooms, that, you know, obviously didn't pack soap or shampoo or anything like that because they've got to pay for VIP passes to get autographs and pictures with the wrestlers. He, he, he should just make the call now. Like, let's cut the crap. You know, what, what is there to possibly gain? Now, you might get lucky. You might be able to have the event in a few weeks. And I certainly hold out some hope that they can, because we probably certainly will need the distraction. I just wouldn't count on it at this particular point in time. And if you're going to be on the side of an issue like this here, I don't know. While it's nice to be principled and courageous and hold out to the last possible minute, this is one of these things that could really, really badly blow up on your face and have some long-term serious consequences and repercussions if you go against the grain. Uh, it might just be wise to bucket up Vince and just say, hey, we need to rethink things. For now, WrestleMania is on hold.